Hi, I'm Cheryl Machette Dorskin, and I'm thrilled to be back to critique some of your photographs. I am a f photographer, an author, and a mentor, and I do teach five classes here at BPSOP. I teach all about color, more about color, painting photos. This here is my logo, which is a painted self-portrait, so I teach both of these te techniques in these two classes and photographing children naturally, so maybe you'll join me for a class. So let's dive into the first um, picture, I guess, no pun intended. Here we are on the waterfront. I see a person, you know, slightly over there, so I'm going to open up this exposure just so I can see what's there. This is a photo by... Tom Reddish, he's on vacation with his wife. He shot this with a D7000 uh, aperture f5.6, aperture priority mode, 1 25th of a shutter speed, and ISO 360. So, um, a f couple of things I would say. The reason um, I had to bump up this exposure to see what's there is that you were shooting on aperture priority mode and um, that is um, going to bias the um, exposure. It's going to take an average and it did a pretty good job. Um, let me go back to where it was. But what I would recommend instead is um, taking, um, putting your exposure on manual exposure mode aiming for um, what you feel is most important in this picture. Was it this person? Was it the color here? Or was it the sky? If it was the sky, move away from um, the sun and go over here and take an exposure. If it was the water, put your spot meter over here. And if it was the person, put your spot meter over here. So that's the first thing I would change. You do have an aperture at f5.6, and um, I think of Brian Peterson saying that's one of those apertures, like, eh, I don't care, aperture. But based on the fact that this is um, night, you were using already IS, um, ISO 360, I don't think I'd bump that up more. So I think based on the circumstances, and you said it was windy, a shutter of 1 25th of a second at f5.6 makes sense. Um, I think the colors are wonderful. I think, I think um, you know, I'm going to bring up that clarity a little. I'm not sure what software you're using, if you are using any, but um, I would just do a little bit of color correction to um, to make this picture talk to me a little more. Um, of course, with a different exposure, the whole thing would be different to begin with. Um, so I would say my, my, to summarize my, my critique to you, I would more decide what are you trying to say? Are you trying to, you know, show us this beautiful sunset? Do we care that this person's here? Is that the message? somebody sitting in this um, open space. Do you want the color? If it's the color, maybe it shouldn't be so in the center, you know, maybe bring it over a little like that. Let's see what that looks like. Different picture. You could do the before and after. I'm not sure if that cropped. Let's try that again. Yeah, it did crop. It did crop. I think it could crop even more. Bring that into the top third. So that's something to think about. Um, 
I think your wife was right. You mentioned in the comments, your wife just loves it. I, I, I think she loves it. It's romantic. It's, it's quite beautiful. I love how with a change of exposure, this sort of pack, picks up the light. So wonderful job. Thank you for participating and uh, keep up the great work. The next photo is by M. Diamond, and this was taken at a hot air balloon um, festival in France, and um, the pilot maneuvered the balloon over the landing zone of dried cut sunflower stalks, and um, the photographer loved seeing the silhouette of four people in the balloon, and... Um, and captured the shadow as the subject of the picture. So the first thing, I'm, I love that I know your intent. I think that's, that's, so, that's the key in photography. What is it you're trying to say? So I know what you're trying to say. So now my critique is, did, did, did your message be, uh, transpire to me? Was it conveyed? So the first thing I see is a field that looks overexposed. So if I take down your exposure by like one stop, that tells me, or maybe we'll just do two thirds of a stop, tells me that you were probably shooting in, in like aperture priority mode, possibly auto exposure mode. So the camera um, did a good job, I'm not even sure what camera you used, of you know um, averaging out the whole scene and, um, and taking an exposure. The problem with it was that um, it was it was overexposed. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm not I'm not seeing the gold uh, field, and you know this to me is interesting. The color is better. It's richer. It's it's more real. Um, I did like in the original how you had the the background going through the shadow, which. Um, as I fixed your exposure, I lost that a little. So you could just open up the shadows just a little bit, and I think that works. I think the message that didn't get translated in your picture was I can't make out the four people, and I can't make out that they're people, and I can't make out what they're saying. So I think your, your um your inspiration for the photo was terrific, and that's really what the art of photography is all about, is in seeing and trying to share what you're seeing. So sometimes you just can't capture it, um, but um, my hat's off to you for, for seeing something and, and trying to capture it in, um, in a moment. You did get the decisive moment. This is a good moment. It's just... You know, it's not quite saying what um, my guess is what you were feeling. But thanks for a great effort. It, it, you bring up a lot of um, great points for photography. And um, I bet you had a wonderful time at the Hot Air Balloon Festival. Thank you for participating. This next photo is by Robert Harris. It was taken in Utah near a hurricane or near hurricane, is that a place, or near a hurricane, I'm not sure. Um, I love these red mountains. I'm definitely moved by the warm, cool color pattern and the um, cloudscapes, beautiful, beautiful lighting, a lot of great things going on in this photograph. Um, you shot this with a D50, 18 to 55 millimeter lens, 18 millimeter um, wide angle at f16 1 over 40 um, I'm guessing this was handheld I'm not sure but um, looks good in terms of that in terms of you know still shot um, at a f and a uh, eight excuse me 18 millimeter shot that will work I think this is lovely. I don't even, I don't think, I think the exposure's right on. Let's just raise it to see. Um, maybe, maybe you could have uh, 
opened up the exposure tab. Maybe open up the whites a little. Um, I think this is pretty good. It's a beautiful vista. You have all this dry shrub here. So I guess the question is to say to yourself, what, what are you trying to say? Um, are you trying to show this cloudscape, which um, I find really interesting? So if it's about the clouds, do we care that there's a shrub here? It's sort of not really interesting. This becomes interesting to me. Or maybe take it down a little. So it's something to think about. You know, always say to yourself, what, what am I trying to say? What is, what is the area of interest? Should you even take it down like that? I'd say no, because I do like these clouds going on here. So let, let me crop your picture. And you got these annoying, um, let me uh, see if I can make this a little bigger. You do have these, uh, eh, it doesn't even bother me that much. Um, we could just work on this a little more, bring out the drama of the clouds. My, my guess is this is what you are going after. And it just takes sometimes a landscape like this, since um, it's not going anywhere. It's not like photographing children or people there, you know, you're going to miss the moment. You could, you could stand here and shoot a couple of shots and work the picture. So I think this tells more of a story of what I'm guessing you are seeing with these wonderful clouds riding across the sky, the sun coming in here. So my um, summary to you is think about more what it is you're trying to say. Your exposure is good. These are minor, minor changes that um, would be normal in a normal workflow. Um, the fact that I just uh, added one third of a stop is nothing especially if you're shooting raw. So this is a great picture. Um, looks like you have good camera control. And now I think you've got to think a little bit more about what is it you're trying to say and is my picture saying the message. Thank you for participating, Robert. And um, you have an awesome day. This last picture is by Amy Dottery. And it's um, a... a a combination of three pictures um, meshed together in Photomatrix. She shot this with an Icon 70 to 200 um, at f5.6 at 150 and 30th a second. Um, she hopes to sell this as a print, and I was wondering about what about clipping. Is there an acceptable amount of clipping? So the first couple of questions, let's first go to the aperture. It's uh, f5.6. Um, you know, for a picture like this, where you have an immense amount of foreground, middle ground, and background, I would have definitely shot with an f16 or 22 on a tripod. Um, so you'll have to tell me if any of those were available to you especially if you're doing uh, HDR, and my guess is you were using a tripod. So, you know, use a, a smaller aperture for sure. Now you do have um, a lot of nice things going on. You have the water movement, you have these paddlers. Um, back here, it's, I can't see the green it's, you know, it fell into shadow. Let's see if we can open it up. I can open it up quite a bit. Um, so, you know, I'm opening this up to see what's there. And you ask about shadows and clipping. You know, if you look at the histogram, your histogram's fine. But, you know, histograms are only... Um, they're, uh, they only tell you so much. It's like you can have a histogram with everything clipped left or right, depending on what you're shooting. So 
I mean, this one looked fine to begin with, but I couldn't see the green. And if you're making a print, you don't want this printing black. You want details in the shadows. That's what's going to make your photo interesting as a print. Um, so I would go back and, and rework your HDR because you can see it's like pixelating and stuff like that. Um, and here it's ghosting. So I would rework that. Um, in terms of exposure mode, I, I would be shooting at um, manual exposure mode. I would have exposed for um, maybe something over here. And... Um, or possibly these people I'm not sure I guess I would have done this guy though and um, you know you would have had a whole different picture um, I'd be happy to on the side if you want to send me pictures um, and show me what else you had I'd be curious but um, let's go back to this just to see to take it down um, to what was, let's just reset it. And then uh, I'm gonna open it up just slightly. I mean, this is pretty with this, this flare here, but I don't think this picture is ready for a print. It's too muddy. That would be my word for it. Um, you have to open up those shadows. And um, my guess is since you're working with HDR, you, there is lots that you could do. You want, you want to add that green back in there. You want, you want to, you want to work this some more. I, I like the composition. Otherwise I like the people here. I like the foreground, middle ground and background. Um, I do like the flare and, uh, I think you're on to something really good. So as I said, I invite you to um, share with me. You'll have to share with me on Dropbox or something, some of the other pictures so I can see what else you had. But, um, you know, best of luck to you. And thank you for participating.